you will have a round piece of color diffusing paper. See, it's a round circle and you'll have it on a placemat. You are going to color on this circle with these three markers. These are in the new primary colors, magenta, yellow, and cyan, or red, yellow, and blue. So when I use a marker, I usually put the cap of the marker on the back of it before I start drawing so that I don't lose the cap. You're just gonna draw a bunch of circles inside the circle or circular lines if you wanna think about it that way. So here's my yellow. I'm gonna do a wavy line all around the circle. So we're gonna do circles from the outside to the inside. And always put the cap back on your marker when you're done using it even if you're going to use it again soon. So I'm doing kind of a thicker line here. Putting the cap on the back. So my circles are getting smaller as I go towards the center. I'm kind of doing a pattern of colors, as you can see. You can do something similar or something completely different. I'm gonna do these wavy lines on the inside here. And they're shrinking, they're getting smaller. And that's as much as I can do. Now I'm not done yet. I'm gonna get a cup of water and this eyedropper tool. And how to use this eyedropper tool is you're going to squeeze the rubber part of it. Then you're gonna dunk it in the water while it's still being squeezed. Then unsqueeze it while it's in the water. And unsqueeze doesn't mean let go, it just means stop squeezing. So it'll fill up with water and then you'll squeeze the rubber part to drop water gently, slowly, onto your circle. Now, I'm dropping gently and slowly because I don't wanna create a big puddle of water on my um, work of art. I want little drops of water everywhere. So this is called color diffusion paper, like I said, and as you can see, when it gets wet, the colors start blending really well. They start flowing into each other. And now you're gonna notice some of your primary colors are mixing to make the secondary colors. I'm already seeing a little bit of green and orange and a little bit of purple too. When it's all done, when it's covered with water, you don't wanna pick up the circle itself. You wanna pick it up with the placemat. So that's how we're going to put it in the drying rack.